I, I would I would definitely say, guys, if you are completely new to this strategy, um, it's one hundred percent worthwhile getting yourself inside the Telegram because you're going to learn loads and loads and loads. Okay, you're going to learn absolute loads, um, and it's free. It's not going to cost you anything. You know, yes, there is a level you can go further with the community and things like that, but it really depends on where you are at the moment with it. You know, it really depends on where you are at the moment. So, yeah, welcome to the people that are coming in, and yeah, let's let's get started. So, essentially, guys, directional bias. We want to buy or sell in line with what the higher time frames are actually doing. Okay, so and God, by the way, if you've got any questions at any point, then please, please, please just, uh, you know, put them in. So. Higher time frame, so. You always. Need to try. Trading. Can't see the keyboard, that's the issue. Trading in line with the higher time frames. So really important that is, guys. Okay, really important stuff. 100% market structure. So essentially, if you are long, short, whatever it is, you would need to play in line with the higher time frames. So in terms of market structure, Think of it as, think of market structure, and I always said this before, right? Think of market structure like broccoli. Okay, think of market structure like broccoli. Now, when it comes into, you think of a broccoli, they're all the same. So let me literally get uh, broccoli up for you. Bro So as, as cliche as it sounds right, what we can see with this is that essentially each tree is the same. So you've got one big picture here. Okay, you've got one big picture here. Higher time frame, anything above four hour or one hour is the higher time frame, Sesame Street Kid. So essentially with a broccoli, you've got one overall stem, each broken up into little stems that are identical. Think of this as the monthly chart and think of the rest as daily, eight hour, four hour, 12 hour, one hour, one minute, 15 minute, whatever you want. Okay, whatever you want. Now, this plays in hands with market structure because you've got a higher time frame. Let's say we're bullish. Okay, and it's doing this. Now, Let's say, for example, you know, for argument's sake, this is a daily time frame. Okay, and I'm going to colour that blue just so you've got it there. Now, if that's a daily time frame, you want to be trading in line with the daily time frame because this is going to have more impact and power over the rest of the time frames. So, for example, you want to get in for a buy when it's at the low. When price is at the low, this is where you want to buy. But what do you need to do to buy here? Hello, Lee, you all right? So what do you need to do when price is down here? Well, we have to look for reasons to buy. Now, we know we've, you know, we're at the low. We know we're bullish. So can we just obviously set our entries to go higher? Well, yes, you can. But what you then need to look at doing is firstly measuring the trading range. So with your Fibonacci tool and it's right there, I've got my 50%. You need to make sure that the Fibonacci tool is going to come 50% and lower. Okay, 50% and lower. You want that to happen. Now, with regards to that, when it comes to the lower than 50%, you need to be thinking about price coming into your discount area. So we want price to come into a discount area. When price can come into a discount area, we can identify buying opportunities. Now, you're not going to necessarily take a trade on the daily time frame, 
you're going to go down a time frame because on another time frame, price is going to be trending downwards into your low. So imagine this here is a four hour. So, or even a one hour. So let's just say that there is a you know, one hour time frame. Well, on the one hour time frame, it's going to look bearish, which is short for sales. So that there is where we want to be looking for opportunities, opportunities to buy. Because what we're looking to do is buy in this area at the low. Because on a higher time frame perspective, price will do this. Okay. But on a shorter time frame, a lower time frame, a one hour time frame, we're going to be trending down in in line with the daily because we're we're on a retracement. So this is retracing down to our point of interest. And you know what we look for in our discount area is areas to mitigate against. So for example, F U or I C candles, we look for imbalances or we look for yeah we'll leave it there for now we'll leave it there for now so they're the type of things you want to look for inside this area here once price gets into this area here what you're hoping for is for price to accumulate now once price is accumulated you can then think about getting in the reason you're looking to get in is because you have got evidence that price is actually moving higher. Evidence. And I can't spell, by the way, guys. I do apologize if that's wrong. Evidence. So you're looking for evidence that price is going to break structure. And quite simply, you could easily put an entry within here. So you know, on a small, on a, on a, another scale, you've got, so let's make this bigger. Let's point to that area there. And if I just highlight this area, is that how you do it? Yeah, I'll highlight this area here. And this is all going to be sent in the Telegram group, guys. Don't worry. So that there now we can come lower a little bit so let's say for argument's sake you know we are this is the trend coming down on the one hour and we've got that happening here okay so now we've got this happening here we've seen our break of structure and we know this is our one hour time frame so because this is our one hour time frame we know and we're within our you know point of interest as an example on the daily we are now looking to get in so we typically measure the entire trading range the fibs don't look actually right there i need to look at that um you know let's say you know our discount zone is in here somewhere you know 50 percent of the range and within that range you know your let me just get that up Discount, discount, discount. So discount area. And within this area here, you're looking for FU IC candles and imbalances. So let's just say, you know, we have identified in this area that we have got imbalance, FU candle, IC candle, imbalances, whatever. Now, in this area here, you're going to potentially go to a smaller time frame. Let's call it a 15 minute or a five minute time frame. And price is going to be doing this. It's going to be trending down. And then you wait. So when price trends down, let's just change the color of this. Let's say that's green and we can call that our 15 or 
five minute time frame. And we're going to change that to green. And we're going to make that a little bit smaller, just so we don't get in the way. Now we're in business. Because what we're looking to do is wait for a break of structures to the upside on a smaller time frame. So if price then does that, this is where you can set entries. Because what you've actually now got is reaccumulation. Okay, reaccumulation is from the daily time frame, you've accumulated once. This area here represents the one hour time frame, which is highlighted in here. On a lower time frame, a 15 minute, a five minute time frame, you're doing the same thing, you're trending down, and it's in your point of interest where price should turn, and it's accumulating again. It's called reaccumulation. So this here is re reaccumulation more evidence. Okay. Any questions so far on that? Because that is essentially, you know, what we're looking to do. If I change that to just call it accumulation, accumulation, and I'm going to tidy this up just here, here, so that is your evidence initially, okay? That's your evidence initially. We've got our break of structure. We've got our accumulation. And now we're going to zoom in a little bit closer and we can see our reaccumulation in our five minute, 15 minute time frame. It's beautiful price action. And when you get in, you can look to set entries in here. Now within this 15 minute range, again, all you have to do is measure that range on a smaller time frame. So literally if it would work, I don't know why they're not working. But anyway, let's just pretend, you know, this is a discount level here. You can literally get yourself in and play in there. Does that make sense? So again, this will be sent to you. In fact, let me, that's because the internet's packed in, that's why. Hang on. So that should begin to make sense, guys. Get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. So yeah, we're looking to get in here. So let's say we've got another discount area here. And you know, we know there are candles within here. So in fact, what I'll do is make, I'll actually take a copy of that, make that smaller. And I'll put that there discount level and let's just say we found some candles in here that we want to play with I don't know why that's happening and entry there there your target would be the next time any questions on that so far guys because it is as simple as that. So that's what we're looking for. You know, target above there. You can target anywhere you want. And that's how you get into the markets, guys. You know, that's how you get into the markets. That's how we do it. And it's just a case of being patient and waiting. You can do this on every single time frame. So I mentioned earlier about the broccoli. Okay, think of it as a big big tree think of this this is the powerful time frame the monthly time frame and then what we need to think about is each what each little tree represents and they are identical to each other okay and it's the same thing price is fractal so it moves on the time frames it moves on each time frame exactly the same so you've got it right here daily time frame one hour time frame accumulation 
We're in, zooming into the one hour time frame here, 15 minute time frame, all the five minute time frame, your reaccumulation right there. And you literally wait for price to come back down because then you're expecting it to move higher because the one hour time frame would actually just look like that. So if I change that, make that red, and I actually just change the change it to a dotted line. Can I do that? Oh yeah, dashed line there. And then likewise, you know, this area here, you know, that there is your daily time frame. Just gonna do that. And if I just change the color there to blue. So that's essentially what you look for, guys. You know, it's literally as simple as that. Are there any questions? So guys, if you are new and you do want to give this page a follow, please give us a follow. Please come and join the Telegram group. Your support is very appreciated. And this is all going to be uploaded for you because this is your direction of bias. You know, that's literally what we do. And we do this on every single time frame. You know, it's all about following market structure. And the really, really powerful stuff. So if I save that, and then I will save that. There we go. And it's just a case of being patient and waiting. But yeah, that there, guys is your so that so basically this um this here represents directional bias okay um it's the same for sales so i mean if i invert the scale like that it's exactly the same thing you're waiting for except that changes a little bit there um and again i'll send that in as well so if you're going with overall structure that's what you're looking for um if i put that back yeah if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you want to put a comment below, that's absolutely fine. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. This is going to be content which is going to be delivered a lot more regularly. Um, and I so say you get to decide what the topic is going to be inside this Telegram group here. So if you are interested in learning how to trade and you want to have a bit of a say in what you want to learn, then get yourself in here and that's the best way you can actually do it. Okay, guys, so yeah, if you need anything else, please let me know.